Hi all, welcome to So for that, we have to collect uh, different types of data. We have to select the features on what basis it is going to predict the future or predict, classify that particular uh, input section. And that particular feature should be trained and tested with a single model. And that particular model, it is completely known as the algorithm. So based on that, we'll be able to uh, predict in the form of regression or predict in the form of classification. So this is known as ML. So that particular machines, whatever the algorithms they use, so that only related towards the machine learning. Uh, I'm not sure regarding towards the SQL, but with that particular SQL, I have seen collecting of data. To collect data, we can also use that. May have the form fillings. For example, if you take that Google form, so that uh, Google form, it will be just uh, providing the blank space with that uh, particular subtitles. So by using that particular subtitles, Therefore, it will be automatically storing into the Excel sheet. Yeah, database management system only. Like for creating the database or creating a software for collecting the database. Yeah, our language is also used, which is more important model accuracy or model performance. Both we have to consider. Actually, if the accuracy is good, the performance also will be automatically good. And for each and every algorithm, based on the application, the accuracy gets varied. For all kinds of functions, uh, it is not possible. Yeah, our language can be used, but here we are not going. So any more doubts, you can post it. So we'll be clarifying and we'll be moving to the next. So Python is just a programming language. It's an object-oriented programming language, uh, which has been rendered from last five to six years. So with the help of the Python, here we will be able to write coding for many of the devices. And uh, with that particular uh, devices like Raspberry Pi, Jetson Nano, so those devices also uh, work only based on this uh, Python programming. So once when we are working with this kind of Python programming means here we have to know some of the basics. And here we are completely going to work with the uh, TPU, Tensor Processing Unit provided by Google, also shortly known as Google Colab. So through online itself, we will be able to work all the packages. Therefore, we no need to know how to uh, install the package or uh, or to say how to call that particular kind of functions, etc. Even the package installations, uh, the required versions can also be done in Google Colab. It is very simple with some of the uh, pip commands. Okay. So Python, it is nothing but a high level programming language uh, like C, C++, Java. So these are all some of the famous uh, kind of high level programming. And it is also easy to program. So fast to learn and uh, easy to develop. We have to know that particular required words. Uh, While well, compared to the C and C++, C, C++ and Python means, definitely there is a drastic change. Like uh, if they write 10 lines of code for one particular application, here we can finish it in two or three lines. So that is the most advantage in the Python. Then comes with uh, platforms. So platforms like hardware, if you go for, uh, you will be able to work it in Raspberry Pi, just a nano, Intel Edison, BeagleBone. And if you go for some of the process like uh, Zinc can also be integrated with Python. Then if you go for uh, software side means Anaconda Navigator, Spider, Jupyter Notebook, PyCharm, IDLE, etc. So these are the different platforms available for uh, Python working on. So the different softwares which we work for the Python. So other than this particular software, if you are just looking for the different variant applications like audio processing, data processing, image processing, web page, graphic user interface, etc. So these are some of the implementations that can also be provided for Python. And the logics, uh, logics are most simple and uh, I won't be able to express as much as uh, possible. Uh, some of the things whenever you start to work, you will be able to understand. Okay, so let us start with the variables. So before starting with the variables, let us open the Google Colab and let us check how to open the Google Colab. So to open the Google Colab, the most important thing is a network as well as your Gmail account. 
So here I'm going on go to collab. So just type uh, collab over here. In case if you are going for the Google search means uh, that uh, you will be having an option for collab. So here I'm opting for a new notebook. If you have any of the ex existing IPYNB file means that is also acceptable. So this is nothing but the collab and these are known as the coding part. So here we have two sections coding part and text part. If I click on text means so here I will be able to type in of the text and this is nothing the coding part. So here I will be able to write the coding. So whatever that particular uh, implementation provided with normal Python or Jupyter notebook, the same structure and model only here also we will be using. So here, therefore, it is connected. Sorry, it is not connected. Uh, sometimes it will be taking automatic connection. Sometimes we have to provide. And therefore, it has been connected to the TPU with my own account. Within this itself, we can install some sort of packages. So that is nothing but according to the working working principle. So pip install. Initially, the scikit-learn will be there. Like uh, I will show you import sklearn. Yeah, sklearn is there. Even though it is there, means uh, I will just install the same thing. This is just to show how to install package in Collab. Why means for some packages, uh, you have to search for the version to avoid the error. That is the only reason. Yeah, therefore, requirement already satisfied. And like that, everything can be installed inside the coding part itself. So now it is showing requirement already satisfied for the latest version. I have given it as pip install tensorflow. Now I'm going to provide pip install tensorflow equal to equal to 1.14.0. It is correct, it will be installing. Yeah, so you can see how that particular tensorflow is being installed with that particular version. So in this way only the packages will be installed So before going to the rules, let us know what is variable. Variable, it is something but particular position or uh, storage, which is used to store all the data and values. And the variable, it will be declared every time at the left-hand side of the equal to. So right-hand side of the equal to the function, left-hand side, it is known as the variable. So inside Python, it is very uh, easy to declare the variable. If you provide any data as input, it will be able to identify which type of data it is. So, and uh, the rules of variables are like, a variable should not start with numerical value. Also, it should not start with any of the special character. It is allowed to start with underscore or any other alphabetic character. And some other things which uh, variable will be playing a role means that particular keywords, which is known as the received keywords, uh, which has been simplified in Python. That is the main kind of change which is obtained from Java and Python. So how the variable is declared? Initially in C++, we will be declaring a variable like this in TA, in B, char C, etc. But if you go for Python, here we can just type x equal to 838. Now, type of x so therefore it is an integer the same thing if i'm providing any of the character so there is no such a type of character over here no there is no need of semicolon so here to make simplifier i'm just going to apply the double quotes so now the type is string so in this way only the variables will be declared and that variable will be automatically changing according to the input data. Okay, so today we have seen the basic of data science. I mean, intro to data science and machine learning. So intro to the tool like uh, Collab, how to install package. And we have also seen like what are the different types of, I mean, how to declare the variables. So tomorrow we'll be seeing the data types and uh, some more functions, including with string. Yeah, you can also take even that too. Everything is possible and for everything, the same method. TensorFlow is also a package like scikit-learn, pandas, numpy, like that. This is also a package. 
used for MLDL. And that particular TensorFlow it is created by Google for research purpose, research and analysis purpose. So any doubts still here? You guys have any doubts? You can just post it. Yeah, to uninstall package, the same command only. So here you can see it is uninstalling. Instead of install, you have to provide it as uninstall. So here you have to open ideally. Yeah, so here ideally has been opened. Open. I will open, go to scripts, cmd, pip install. Watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.